A 50-year-old woman presents with chronic pain in her hands and ankles. She has also had a dry cough and intentional weight loss. Physical exam also shows digital clubbing. Chest x-ray shows an irregular mass in the peripheral right lung. She has normal serum electrolytes and calcium. Which of the following is the most likely cause of this patient's extremity pain? Now this patient is presenting with signs of adenocarcinoma. And we know this because she has a irregular mass in the periphery of her lung. And adenocarcinomas occur in the periphery of the lung. She also has unintentional weight loss and dry cough, which are going to be also indicators of a malignancy. Now she has been experiencing chronic pain in her hands and ankles. And the question is asking, what is this? pain a result of. Now, in order to understand this, we kind of have to understand how platelets are derived. So imagine that this is the bone marrow. And imagine that this circle represents the lungs. So normally, megakaryocytes, which are precursors to platelets, are released from the bone marrow and they go directly into the lungs and in the lungs, they get fragmented and are released as platelets. So again, normally megakaryocytes are released from the bone marrow and they go to the lungs where they get fragmented and they're released as platelets. So now imagine that there's a mass in the lung. If there's a mass, within the lung, then this kind of messes up the pulmonary circulation. As a result, instead of megakaryocytes going directly into the lungs, now some of these megakaryocytes are going to go directly into the systemic circulation. Now, when these megakaryocytes go directly into the systemic circulation, they're going to be secreting growth factors. And these growth factors are going to promote new bone formation. So the answer to the question is going to be answer choice A, which is abnormal new bone formation. With this growth factor release, the bones are going to be growing and it's going to cause a lot of pain to these patients. And this type of disorder is going to be called hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. And hypertrophic osteoarthropathy commonly occurs with lung malignancies um, adenocarcinoma is the most common lung malignancy in which hypertrophic osteoarthropathy occurs. It can also occur in cystic fibrosis as well as heart failure with cyanosis. So again, the cause of hypertrophic osteoarthropathy is going to be due to megakaryocytes going directly into systemic circulation and they're going to be releasing growth factors, which is going to promote new bone formation.